Hi all and welcome to Megas Crack Gaming. Alright, we are recording with my OBS software, uh, 64-bit Windows software, instead of my Streamlabs. I'm checking out how it runs uh, with this particular game instead of the Streamlabs software. This is an older computer, so I have to take it easy until I can get a Windows key for my new computer. And, uh, we're going to see how this goes. Alright, back at it. The game loaded up quite quickly after I did a cleaning and a refurbishing of this computer, so that's, uh, promising. That was a pretty good load. No glitchiness like with the stream labs. So that's uh that's better. So maybe we'll just focus on using this one for now. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna fish for some bow fins, uh catfish and all that kind of stuff. Everything seems to be running good. The game is hot every day, I swear there's like Lots of people every day, so that means the game's alive. So if you guys want a game where there's people playing, come play. Alright. That is a small bullhead, black bullhead he caught. Alright, let's see what we catch. We might switch up our bait. I think we'll switch up our bait. We're going to let this sit for a minute and see what we catch. This particular bait is going to be probably only good for catfish, maybe. We'll see what we catch. The small baits or small chunk baits work really well for catching bowfin, bullhead, and catfish. Young channel cats here. So let's use these for a little bit, see what we catch. It's always good to test out baits. You don't know what you're going to catch unless you test it out. And as you can see in the upper left hand corner, we are at about 115 and a half pounds. A little over that. I think we're going to reel in a little bit here. We are getting no bites. That's not promising. <coughs> Someone was just by me. Oh, there's a guy right by me. What you doing in my fishing spot, boy? Get out of my fishing spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't like your kind around here, boy. <laughs> Stealing fish. This is my fishing spot. These are my fish. <laughs> Let's cast this a little over here. Let this go for a minute, see if we get anything. We got 69 of these, so we got quite a bit. We could use them up. It would be nice. 
man, if they made baits in this game go bad after a while, I know a lot of people that would lose out on bait. You'd have to be real particular about what you bought. And like say you had bait, it'd go bad in three days or something. I'm glad they don't have nothing like that. I've actually kept worms for a month in a fridge and been able to use them and they've still been very good to catch fish. Ooh, did we just get a hit? Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Nightcrawlers particularly. Sound like there's going to be a pickle tournament. Hit tab. Oh, that's good luck. Dragonfly landed on my pole. People are still pulling out channel caps and stuff, so... this guy's this guy says the game doesn't doesn't offer much to interact with others I think it does in some ways but I'd like to see what he thinks <clears throat> thinks you should be able to trade baits and stuff. That's interesting.
trading. I, what are your guys' thoughts on trading in this game if you've played it? I don't know about that. I don't know if it's feasible. It had a whole new level to the game, though. I mean, people would buy gear and then trade it for in-game money. These dough balls are not doing anything. I think we're going to switch our bait. I think we'll try the leeches for a little bit. See what we get with the leeches. So we're going to hit inventory here. Put on the bait. Stay going fishing where we're at. <coughs> it's really slow fishing right now. I have not caught a fish in almost 12 minutes. Mm, getting a bite right away. Leeches are what we need. Take it. Take it. He stopped nibbling. Okay, there we go. We got him. Uh, maybe a one pounder. I don't care, it's a fish. There we go. One and a half pounder, maybe? Oh, wow, it's a two pounder. Two and a third. That's a good, good fish. We'll keep it. Two and three quarters. Or, uh, not three quarters. Uh, one third, maybe. Close to one third. My grandfather used to fish with leeches. What he'd do is he'd take them and he'd stick their mouth on his thumbnail and then he'd take the hook and he would take it underneath the, the mouth of the leech and hook them right through the mouth and he'd cast them out. That's how he used to hook leeches on his hook. I was always too afraid to use them because I didn't want them to get stuck on me. But he always kept a cigarette lighter in case they did bite. You could burn them and they'd let go. I should be approaching level 20 pretty soon. We're going to reel this and cast out a little bit different spot. We're just reeling over to this spot right about there. We're getting a nibble. Good. Just a new position. We got something. Maybe we'll catch a fish here. Gotta take it. Come on. Okay, we got it. Ooh, this is a good sized fish. Four pound? Four pound, maybe? Maybe not that big, but I think it is. I think it's a catfish. Yes, it is. Oh, about three and a half. It's a trophy bullhead. That is the biggest trophy bullhead I've caught here. Let's take a photo with this. 
All right, we're going to do F12, take our photo. There we go, you can see my rod reel and my shirt and everything. All right, now we'll hit escape, get off that, and we'll keep that. Trophy bullhead, that's really cool. I have caught trophy bullheads off of leeches and small cut baits. I haven't tried medium cut baits here, but I might try that and see if I catch something a little bigger. But I think I think I might try that. But I know I can catch trophy fish off the leeches and the small cut baits for bullheads. I think we are stuck. Maybe not. <clears throat> Let's go a little more up this way. Not that far out. We'll be in the honey hole still. See what that does. We're getting a hit. Only one hit. Let's reel it in a little bit. Now it's ramping up to about 3.30 and we're starting to catch some uh, catfish here again, bullheads and uh, such. I sure would like to join that. Akatoba River, biggest fish, good prizes for winners. I'd like to try that. but. Uh, I don't even know if I have that unlocked or if I can go there. You unlock rivers and fishing spots as you level up. So it's important to grind your fish fishing skills and maybe you could you could jump around if you want, but uh, the I generally speaking the bigger the trophy the more XP you're gonna get but I do believe there are some fish that are generally worth more XP than others like catfish I think are worth more XP than bass but bass are worth more money um, stuff like that <clears throat> so there's ways to grind money and there's ways to grind XP Unless they've changed that. They may have. We'll see. Maybe we'll keep a little eye on it. <clears throat> that almost 12 pound channel cat was $308 cash though, I'll tell you that. Oh, dude, that guy just caught a trophy channel cat, like me. I caught mine yesterday, though. 
still on day one fishing, but I caught it yesterday. Let's reel this in a little bit. I'd like to see them open up some of the maps where you can really go all the way around the lakes and stuff on paths and really get in nooks and crannies and fish instead of just giving spots. But, um, well, maybe not. I mean, you're going to want to fish off the shoreline, but, uh, you probably wouldn't want to get over in those reeds on that hilly area or nothing, so maybe that's why they have that that way. Um, but you might get some brave souls that would try and fish off that rim right there of that hilly area over into here and pull up there. But, I mean, generally speaking, you're not going to see too many people do that. Falcon Lake, 10 big coins for the winning team. Man, I sure would like to go to that. I sure would like to go to that. I think I have Falcon Lake, too. You know what? I'd probably lose money if I left on day one. <clears throat> well, I think we'll hold out for some other competitions. I'm just going to make my money real these few days here fishing. We're gonna read over the sand over this way. I think the user competitions are a way to get more interaction for the game player, but um, I'm not seeing too many people join them even when I, I've only tried it once so far, but within a 20 minute period of time, and it was pretty much on a, uh, a really heavy played time, I haven't had too many people want to join, they just do their fishing, um, I'd like to see some kind of benefit like maybe bitcoins you can get from those or something so that it entices players to join them more <clears throat> okay. like maybe the host gets like so many bitcoins to divvy up for the competition or something But not using his bitcoins, because I wouldn't like to see that. Uh, you'd have to have a rich person be doing that to host the, the tournaments.
Well, all right, guys, we're going to call it for the day. It's been about another 25 minutes. We didn't catch too much fish right now, but we have to head to work soon, so we're going to call it a good fishing day. And there'll be more to come, guys. So, this is Megas Craig Gaming saying goodbye for now.